Now you should be where the Summit Trail crosses Summit Road, just above Sunset Picnic Area. Before you cross the road, there's a rock structure to your left with a sign missing. Ken says it was probably built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. The sign itself is gone, the structure holding the sign still here, but they used rocks right from the area here, and one of the rocks they used, the one at the bottom on the far left, is kind of an interesting rock associated with the Franciscan complex. It's called blue schist. Geologists weren't quite sure how it formed. It's a metamorphic rock, but there's no evidence it was ever heated, and geologists weren't quite sure how that could happen until plate tectonics. Turns out not all the Franciscan rock gets scraped off cleanly onto the North American plate while that Farallon plate is diving underneath. Some of that rock gets carried down 10 or 20 miles before it's faulted back up. And as it's carried down to depth, it's squeezed. And that's what created this blue schist. It's gray wacky sandstone that got the bejeebers squeezed out of it. So if you look carefully at the rock, you can see the little mica grains, the sparkly grains that have all been squeezed into a straight line, and you see a bluish and greenish color. But that is, those are minerals from very low temperature, high pressure metamorphism. So that's our blue schist on Mount Diablo. Now find a safe place to look at the large outcrop of greenstone, pillow basalt on the uphill side of Summit Road. It's right next to the blue schist. And this is a nice one because you can see some of the pillows, some of the blobby shapes that were formed so long ago at the bottom of the ocean. And you can see some of the greenish color that formed with the reaction of the basalt with the seawater and where pieces have been exposed to the air for a long time. You can see the result of the iron and the magnesium and manganese. It's been weathered to a tan color. But this is the blobby shape, the pillow basalt from the volcanic eruptions far away. Okay, we've had a good look at the oldest rocks on Mount Diablo. In the next section, we're going to walk through the younger layers. But first, we'll address a baffling question. How did these ancient rocks get on top of the younger ones below? For the answer, or at least a few good theories, hike past Sunset Picnic Area for 0.59 miles to a sign marked Thrust Fault. That's where we'll start part two of this tour.